So I've been playing with the iOS 18.1 beta 3 for the last week with a special focus on the new cleanup feature, which obviously isn't always perfect, but it's still very impressive. And it's a feature that's really going to make the Photos app all the more useful. Let's check it out right now. So here is iOS 18.1 beta three. As you can see, and as we all know, this is not going to be released alongside the new iPhone 16, which will be revealed next week and presumably launched shortly thereafter. As you can see there, this update, the 18.1 beta is an early preview of an update that will be released later this fall. But thankfully, if you're a beta tester, you get to check out all the cool new features now and of course, all that is headlined by Apple intelligence in the new Siri interface, which is a part of the 18.1 beta. Now, the cool thing about beta three is that you get this new splash screen that really breaks down summarized notification previews, which is of course an Apple intelligence feature. And what it does is that it can succinctly make notifications or groups of notifications easier to read. So you get the here's to the crazy ones poem. Well, basically, if you get that in a bunch of different text messages, it breaks it down and says, Hey, this is a poem that celebrates people who think differently. Instead of having to read all the messages, it summarizes them all in one fell swoop. And you can go in there and disable or enable the summaries for all the various applications on your phone. So that's really cool. So if you don't want summaries for messages, for whatever reason, you can turn that off. But as I've stated before, I think notification summaries is the new sleeper slash killer feature for Apple intelligence. It just makes it so easy to quickly understand what's being said. Now, of course you get the new Siri interfaces I talked about earlier. So you get that slick new animation. Of course you have type to Siri, which allows you to double tap the bottom edge of the screen to type your request instead. So here is the welcome to iPhone splash screen. Once you get through the whole setup, the initial setup with the 18.1 beta three, and here is the build number 22B5034E. And it just basically breaks down everything we showed you earlier with the download. Okay, so let me show you why message summaries, why I call it the killer feature. So you see all these messages from YouTube Studio. Now, of course, I can break these out and read them individually, or you can read the summary. You see a little summary icon. So it's talking about the 45 watt power brick, live Nest Cam Wear OS, and the Elite Prime review. But when you break that out, you can see all these messages individually. And while it gives you more details, really the message summary gives you just a quick overview. You can quickly gain context as to what's all being said with just one message. It's really handy. Doesn't always work perfectly depending on what the contents of the message is, but when it does work, it's really good. So. You can go into settings, notifications, and you see summarized previews. So the little splash screen I showed you earlier during the, during the setup, well, you can actually find that within the notification preferences. You can have a global setting to turn off summarized preview globally, or you can go individual apps and turn off those individual apps if you wish to do so. If you don't want preview summaries for a particular app. Now, I showed you this in a previous video, how to create a memory movie with just a description. So you can just type in a prompt, but you can also include music in your prompt that you want to play alongside your memory movie. So I'm going to say memories in Japan with cold plays, shout out Chance Miller, yellow. All right. So it's going to create a memory movie about Japan with Coldplay's Yellow as the soundtrack and it works. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to let you hear it, but trust me, Coldplay's Yellow is playing right now. I'll turn the volume up, volume up so just so you can hear a quick snippet. <laughs> and that's all I can play because I don't want to get copyright dinged, but trust me, that is what I hear right now as this memory movie is playing back. So this new Apple intelligence feature, really cool, especially with the ability to specify the soundtrack for your movie. And again, you will need Apple intelligence enabled to use memory movies. So now let's talk about 
the new personal assistant improvement. So of course you can double tap the bottom of the screen to open up the type to Siri feature. So I typed in a prompt there and then you can continue that conversation with voice commands as well if you wanna do that. So I just asked, what time is it in Chicago? And then I said, what's the weather like there? And it was able to follow along with the context. And again, that beautiful animation, which unfortunately is gonna be limited to the iPhone 15 Pro lineup and the iPhone 16 lineup, including the non-pro iPhone 16 devices. Everyone else gets that regular old school Siri prompt. And like I said, if you disable Apple intelligence, then you don't get the memory movies and many of the other Apple intelligence features. Now this right here, folks, this is the star of this update, no doubt, but I really wanted to break down why cleanup. The feature teased at WWDC, which is finally here in beta three, why this is such a cool feature. Now, previously, if you wanted to go in and make edits to a photo, you couldn't do that in the Photos app. You would have to use something like Pixelmator, which I'm using here, to get rid of stuff in photos, to clear up blemishes, etc. cetera. Uh, and you know, that works perfectly fine. As you can see, that works pretty well, but it's not ideal to have to go to another app when you can do all these other things within the Photos app, right? You can add filters, you can go in there and crop, you can do other things, but you could never actually perform real edits to a photo. But now you can with this new cleanup feature and it's super, super handy to have this built in. So you can tap, brush or circle what you want to remove. And of course you can pinch and pan to zoom in to get more precise edits. So I'm gonna remove that little buoy out in the water, just swipe on it like that and bam, it's gone. Don't need to open up another app to do that. You can do that right within the Photos app editor. So I'm just gonna circle this guy right here and bam, it's gone. And since this is a beta, you get the ability to provide feedback directly there via the handy thumbs up and thumbs down buttons that you see there. So I can share that feedback that presumably will not be in the final shipping version. Now let's go ahead and remove that, um, what is that thing called, seagull. <laughs> let's get rid of that guy and he's gone just like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and tap the done button and let's start pixel peeping a little bit to see if we can tell where these changes have been made. So if we zoom in, pinch to zoom in, you saw the sandcastle, you can kind of tell, you see those repeated patterns there? You can tell that an edit was made there, uh, but again, you'll have to be looking for it. Otherwise, no one's gonna know just with a quick glance that you use cleanup in that instance. So I'm turning off Apple intelligence now. Apple intelligence is off. So I'm going to see if I can actually invoke cleanup with Apple intelligence disabled. So maybe this will be a feature, as you can see, it is still in, is enabled. So maybe this will be a feature that is included with the non Apple intelligence eligible devices, who knows? Maybe it will be on the iPhone 15 regular edition. Another cool thing, you can also use cleanup to alter screenshots. You can go in there and I just swiped on my name there and it got rid of it. Same thing with the play option. So that totally gets rid of play. And yeah, you, you would be none the wiser in this case. You zoom in, I don't see anything. So that's really cool, editing screenshots. Now here again, you can circle, well, you gotta look, see the occlusion? See how it wants to go behind my hand and not complete the circle? So you gotta have to, to make sure you pay attention to where you're drawing the circle or starting the circle in order to grab the item that you're looking to grab. Now, <laughs> that didn't turn out too well. That did not turn out too well. So let's be a little bit more precise. There we go. And now let's see how it works out. All right, so you know, it's decent. Obviously you still see the shadow there. You can try to remove the shadow if you want to, but then you're gonna, you're gonna start. Yeah, it's just not gonna work all that well. Uh, so you have to kind of pick and choose your battles with the cleanup feature. Obviously certain things aren't gonna work as well as others. When you get real complex things you're trying to remove, you also have the ability to tap and remove. It'll suggest certain items to tap and remove. And as you can see, it doesn't always work perfectly. Because it's sort of using like a cloning feature, it'll like create things out of thin air. 
that sort of match what was around before and try to put it together, but it doesn't always work all that well. So I'm gonna to try to delete myself from this Cybertruck photo. It's just going to scribble on myself. It highlights me and it gets rid of me pretty well. You can kind of see the little outline of where my body once, once was. And you can also see my shadow. I can try to remove the shadow. But as you might imagine, this is a pretty complex situation here. So it's not gonna perform all that well, at least in this initial version of cleanup. Now, what I was really impressed with though here, when you have a simpler subject matter, like you have the umpire, you have the base runners, you just simply swipe. Let's try it again. Swipe like that, it'll highlight that person and gets rid of them just like that. It is pretty well done. You can even get rid of the baseball bat over here. Just swipe on it, highlights it, and it removes it. It isn't perfect, obviously, but for a quick and dirty edit, it works pretty well. I'm relatively impressed. It's only going to get better. And again, remember, this is a beta, so you can't really be too judgmental about it because it's still in the works. It's still in development. So keep that in mind. Now, here's something really cool. Well, something really scary and something really cool. So first of all, I'm going to circle my face and watch what happens here. Wow. That is, um, that's an interesting, I don't know. Some people might say that's an improvement. And to that, I would say that <laughs> that's not very nice, but when it comes to faces, one of the things that I do like is the ability to quickly censor. So if you just do a little slash like this diagonally, it will censor out a face just like that, which can be super handy, especially if you have children, you don't want their faces all over the internet, and I don't blame you, then this is a great way to quickly edit their faces out of a photo that you plan on sharing online. It's super simple, super easy, just do a little slash. Let's actually try that again with my Cybertruck photo. So we're just gonna revert back, put me back in there. And let's go to cleanup and let's perform a sensor again on my face. So just a slash and it sensors just like that. Super simple, super easy. Oh, and one more thing. You can tell if a photo has been edited using cleanup within the metadata. So we're just gonna open up a photo here and then swipe up to view its metadata. And then you're gonna see modified with cleanup. So that'll show you that just so you can quickly see. But like I said, a lot of times if you pixel peep, it's gonna be obvious, but in this case, you can make sure. Oh, and one more thing, and this has nothing to do with cleanup, but I did wanna show you the new animation that you get with the music app when loading up an album or dismissing that album. Nice new animation, what do you guys think? So ladies and gentlemen, that is a look at iOS 18.1 beta three. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section and check out these videos as well. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.